الله أكبر 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 Beloved brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, today is the day of Eid. We say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar wa lillah alhamd. The day of Eid, the day of the Eid al-Abha. And we beseech our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant our hujaj a hajj makbul and a hajj mabrur insha'Allah to grant those who were with us last year and those who are no more with us and no longer with us even before last year to grant them a genital for those insha'Allah and make it easy on their families. We beseech you Almighty to grant the infirm, the infected, the sickly, the shifa complete, insha'Allah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to carry on with the qudra and the rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to serve humanity for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, insha'Allah. Brothers and sisters, the day of Eid, the day in which the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We celebrate as one body the sacrificing, the cutting off of ourselves from that which is contrary to true human civilization. Today, brothers and sisters, we see in a literal sense and in practice, what Allah subhanahu wa says to us, Inna li ummatukum ummatan wahida, that they verily this ummah of yours, it is one ummah, it is one organism, it is one body, a vibrant organism that pulsates around the world. And especially today, lisan wahid, one tongue, and that is the tongue of the takbir. As yesterday, the day of Arafah, those of us who could fasted. And as the Hujad yesterday, they proclaimed the Labaik, Allahumma Labaik, Ya am Allah, Ya am Allah. We proclaimed from Fajr yesterday morning the takbir answering that call, Allahu Akbar, in unison with them. They are saying, here we are for a duty and a purpose, for the fifth rukun, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the benefit of humanity. And we say, Allah Akbar, glory to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatest, alhamdulillah. So brothers and sisters, today the day of Eid, the Eid of Ha, as we cut, as we qurban, literally today, the sheep. So, let us remember and remind ourselves, we spiritually and with rational recognition and intent, we cut ourselves off from the fraudulent traps and pitfalls that engenders corruption, violence, and all the other evil spin-offs there are. Does Allah not remind us, brothers and sisters, in Surah Mutaffifin, the opening of Surah Mutaffifin, Mutaffifin, Woe unto the fraudsters! Alladheena idha ktalu ala nasi yastawfoon, wa idha kalu muhsiroon. Woe unto the fraudsters, those, as it says the next ayah and the third ayah, about the fraudulent th stuff that happens in business, about being fraudulent with the weight and so forth. That is in a literal sense. 
but it also means fraudulent traps of economics, fraudulent traps of politics, fraudulent traps of social discohesion, fraudulent traps of education. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us from. And this is what yesterday, the day of Arafah, the global conference, the conference for the establishment of global peace and unity, the peace, the as-salam, from which comes the al-Islam, that that conference to strategize how do we bring humanity to the manner of peace and compassion for each other. That is what the Arafah, the ponderings pass from. So therefore we can say it is a progressive yearly and practical conference of progress for the benefit of all of humanity. But also, brothers and sisters, it is also a conference of a 14th century of peaceful protests, peaceful protests against fraud, fraudulent socio-political economics of lies that has gripped societies the world over, including our own as we have seen, the looting, the violence, of people, they've been brainwashed. Deep, deep, complex issues underlying that. And we must be careful not only to treat the symptoms. We must take note as all South Africans and especially our people in government. So this conference, brothers and sisters, it points out the predator nature of states and its destructive economies that's operating, exploiting people the world over. This conference of Arafah, it points out the limitations also of these fraudulent ideologies as it generates horrific inequity and poverty. Thus, brothers and sisters, Islam, Islam not only, and of course peacefully protests this, but it offers viable, reasoned, and inclusive alternatives. If you look at the five arcans, the basis of belief, the shahada, to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we always say, on the basis of evidence. And from there we move the salah to engage, as we engage Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala five times daily, that lays the template to engage each other continuously on the manner of dignity and respect and civility. And that brings us to the soul to engender and generate compassion and empathy for each other, sharing and caring. The zakah, the economic framework to circumvent and of course obliterate these fraudulent pitfalls as we see today. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. And that is what the Hajj is all about. That is what this conference is all about. Muhammad Sallallahu says, Al Hajj Arafah. There we have to ponder. And the next day, Yawm Al Eid, we celebrate what we have considered and what we're going to carry out and what we're going to overcome with the other manasik. And therefore, brothers and sisters, this horrific poverty 
that has gripped the globe. We ask the question, are we once again living in the 21st century in a global and local feudal state masquerading as a democracy? We have to think very deeply about this because the evidence is there. Is democracy a camouflage for looting countries, for looting the coffers of the state, not only in our country but the world over, rich getting richer? We have billionaires and perhaps trillionaires and the poverty gap, even in one's own city. If you move from one part of the city to another part of the city, you think you're in a different country. So is the inequity, the unequalness that breeds hatred, contempt, and Islam gives the alternative, the zakah, a viable economic template. Does Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not say, La fargu bayna arbi wa ajmi wa abyad wa aswad wa ahmar wa ahdar illa bi taqwa. Equalness of humanity. No difference between white, black, red, green, whatever. The Rasul means those colors. Why? Of course, to say that those colors means nothing. The color of a person's skin is because of the climatic origin they come from and because of the intermarriages. It's got nothing to do with superiority and inferiority. And does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not say that this message of Islam brought by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ That we have not sent you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam except but as a mercy unto all of creation. Was we not, must we not try to emulate that, brothers and sisters? This is the celebration of the Eid. This is the celebration today, brothers and sisters, in unison with the rest of the Ummah that we are enacting today, that we are putting into practice today. No matter what your culture, what, whatever, we are all part of the universal human family. This is the connection, brothers and sisters, by the grace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The connection. Why? Because the wakt of Fuku ended this morning Fajr. This morning Fajr. And that is why we say that the day of Eid and the day of Arab it is an indivisible connection between the sacred conference of Arafah and the sacred celebration of Eid al-Adha, alhamdulillah. We remind ourselves, as people would say, there is no connection. We remind ourselves and we remind our brothers and sisters, a large part of whom will not be celebrating Eid today. And once again, let me reiterate, those who are fasting today, please tell them they must eat. It's the day of Eid. In unison with the Hujaj in Makkah, the fifth Rukun, Islam has five arkans, and one of those arkans is the Rukun of Hajj which we are celebrating today. So please, may we come to our senses, inshallah. We also remind ourselves of Ibn Khaldun, who in the 14th century spoke about the Asabiya, the glue that binds a community together. And if that glue is not of a correct substance, the community will fragment. Disintegrate. 
What is the glue? The glue of Iman. And how do you build that Iman? With a reason, a rational approach. Where we see the nexus, the connection. As we see it between your, the Uqub Arba and Eid. The connection between revelation and reason. And as we said last Friday, we quoted Ahmad Kamal. And I quote him again by saying, No other people are privileged to know such oneness of being, such singleness of purpose, unquote. We are privileged today to see that singleness of purpose, that singleness of interconnectivity. And brothers and sisters, the advice of Muhammad sallam is so easy if we wish and we want to attain this as the Rasul sallam says to us Taraktu fikum shay'ain lan tadillu ma tamassaktu bihima kitabullah wa sunnati so easy Taraktu fikum shay'ain I've been ordered to leave behind for humanity. We can always say, as I, as I always say, it's like an inheritance for humanity. I've left in order to leave behind two things for humanity. Never will you go astray. What are those two things? Kitab Allah wa Sunnati. The Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So easy, brothers and sisters. Why do you want to make it difficult, like us? Why do we want to make it difficult for ourselves? So brothers and sisters, that we can say is the celebration of Eid. And of course, also in the context of the storm. That is the world purpose, the universal purpose of the Quran as opposed to our narrow-minded religiosity that we have of the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala protect us from the evil that we make and to come to our sin, inshaAllah. So in conclusion, brothers and sisters, may we achieve our aims in our service to humanity, inshaAllah, with the evil that we make. Once again, we say, Hajj Mabrur and Hajj Mabur to our brothers and sisters who have represented us and all of humanity on Arafah. Alhamdulillah. We also beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may our brothers and sisters and our little brothers and sisters, the children in Palestine, in Syria, in Myanmar, in all places where they are being oppressed, where they are being persecuted, where they are being cruelly treated, may inshallah, with our du'as and the effort, may they regain their peace and they be successful from this tyranny, inshallah. May our land and our people heal, inshallah. May our people come to their senses not to follow blindly and to realize that the resources that they are, those are gifts and ni'mat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also we say, brothers and sisters, that we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our health, our strength. And may we use it for progress in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, we also say, our chairman, Ihsan Yigans, our deputy imam, Sheikh Walid Khirdi, they are making excellent progress in their recoveries. Alhamdulillah. May they have a complete shifa, inshallah. We also say the sick, the infirm, as we said, and the infected, may they be granted a complete shifa. Hajj, brothers and sisters, once again this year, was under extraordinary circumstances so may our celebrations once again be extraordinary this year and extraordinary positive and 
joyous celebration, inshallah, by making the effort for progress and success. So to you, brothers and sisters, we wish you from our hearts a joyous and happy and successful Eid Mubarak to each and every one. Go well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.